Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport, and in this On One Short Clip, I'm going to show you how to create some motion and drama in your sky behind your main subject. Now, you might think immediately about adding motion with a blur filter in effects, and I'm in the effects module right now. Let me show you what happens when we try to do that, why that doesn't work, and why we need to use layers. So as soon as I add the blur, notice the subject is getting blurred. For motion in the sky, I'd want a radial blur. And that gets you know even stranger. You know, the trunk of the tree is almost gone and the leaves are more or less unrecognizable. And even using our blending options to protect the shadows, which is primarily what that tree is, that doesn't really get us to where we want to be with this photo. So working within effects is not going to cut it for us, but we have layers and that's gonna work perfect for us. Let's go over into layers with this photo. So in layers, let's rename this layer to our original photo. I'm going to make two copies of it. And I only need one extra copy, but I'll make two so I can show you the full start to finish at the end of this. So this is our original, I'm not going to touch that at all. Matter of fact, we can just turn it off. This one, this will become our sky with motion. And this layer will become our tree. So let's start with getting that motion in the sky. So I'll turn off the tree layer and all I'm working with is sky motion. Now nothing's changed on the screen because all three of these layers are exactly the same. Now what we'll do is first remove our subject. I'm gonna grab the perfect eraser and just do a pretty big sweep over the tree and down its trunk so we can get the subject gone from the scene. All right, now there is some artifacting here, but for this effect, it doesn't bother me. I won't worry about this because I'm going to blur all of this out and this will just disappear. So now working with sky motion, we can make this a smart layer. So if we need to re-edit changes later on, we can. Now we'll bring just the sky motion layer into effects. And this is where we can add our blur. So we'll add the blur. We'll get a radial blur and I'll choose this crosshair and stick it kind of like over here. So we're kind of zooming off to the side out into you know, the distance here, maybe a little closer to the horizon, something like that. Um, actually, nope, I like the first one better. We'll add a little bit more motion to that. And while we are here, we'll add some contrast so we get some nice lines in those streaks of trails, as well as add some color. Let's pop sky up there. We've got some nice oranges in there so we can increase the oranges. Maybe even shift that toward red, make this a little more fiery looking. All right, that's a pretty good looking dynamic sky. We'll say done and that will bring us back over into layers. Okay, back in layers. Now let's add our tree in. So I go up to the tree layer and I reactivate that. We're gonna see all of our motion disappear. Remember we have a full copy of this tree layer here. So we're not being able to see anything beneath this layer right now. The first thing I'm going to do is shift the blending mode to darken. And that says show only the darker parts of this tree layer as compared to the sky. And that's mostly the tree. The tree looks really good, but there is some interesting artifacting going on in the sky because when we added the blur, it changed the dynamic of lights and darks that stretch some of those things out. So the next thing we want to do is do some masking. And so I'm going to grab the masking brush and I just want to get the subject done. So I've got my opacity up high, hit the perfect eraser. I'm going to do a command, click and start really well, and essentially removing the tree. And just the tree is disappearing, right? Like that. And then maybe a couple of other onesie twosie clicks in the dark areas there. And now I will invert that mask. So mask invert. Now I see my tree. It looks pretty good. My nice motion filled sky. And the last things I can do is perhaps with a very low opacity brush. Let's go maybe 20%. Turn off the perfect brush and just kind of sweep through here a little bit to smooth out that mask. So we're bringing in a couple of those leaves that we left behind. So to recap all of that, let's go back down to the bottom here. This was our original photo, right? So we made a copy of it. We removed the tree with the perfect eraser and went into effects and added some motion and some contrast and color. We made sure to make that a smart layer. So if we need to re-edit those effects later, we can. Then on our 
other copy of the layer, we masked in just the tree and we took advantage of the darken blending mode to help us with our mask and really make sure we were only bringing in the darkest parts of the scene. And there you go. So hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. My name's Scott Davenport. <music>